check this. Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to change it up with this video and I'm going to show everyone a way to fix a common issue with flash drives that may save you some time and money. The reason I decided to make this video is because I actually saw someone throwing away a flash drive because they said their PC would not let them access it. Well, after I took a look at their issue, I realized that this was a simple format issue which didn't take very long to resolve, as you'll soon see. So basically, have you ever plugged in a USB flash drive or thumb drive or memory stick, whatever you may call it, have you ever plugged it into a PC and for some reason it does not recognize it as a formatted drive? Or the size shown for the drive is formatted smaller than it should be? Well, I've seen this issue many times and I bet you have too. If so, then you may have seen these error messages. Some of the main reasons that can cause this problem are... The drive could simply be corrupted. I have seen this happen uh, if someone removes a drive without ejecting it properly. If you your PC shuts down in the middle of copying something from your PC to the drive, then you, you really have to be careful of this and make sure you do not do this. Uh, this could also be a compatibility issue uh, with the drive and the PC. Specifically, if it's formatted incorrectly, such as... The drive is formatted in NTFS instead of FAT32. Believe it or not, there is a way to fix this issue. Most of the time with Windows 7 and Windows 10 operating systems without having to throw the device away or buying a new one. My instructions today are directed mainly at Windows 10 operating systems. However, as I go along, I will put up some Windows 7 instructions on the screen for those of you with Windows 7, there's not a huge difference, and it's mainly with navigating to the disk management window. Now, I do need to state that this method is for flash drives that you do not currently need any data off of. If you have items such as files, images, videos, etc., then you'll need to use some sort of Windows data recovery software to extract those off of the drive before moving forward. There's a lot of data recovery software out there, and again, I will provide some links below to ones that I've had some good luck with. Also, I did go and find one uh, that you can download that is free, but it really didn't have great reviews, and I've not used it yet myself. If you really want the files and they are pretty important to you, then you may want to just purchase some decent software to retrieve that data. So let's jump in. The first thing you're going to want to do is go down to your start button down in the bottom left corner, right click on that, and go up to disk manage it, click on that. Your disk management window will pop up, and as you can see here, if you look down, you can see removable uh, D drive. Alright, so you're going to want to right click on that. You're going to want to select new simple volume. Then the wizard will open up. Uh, go ahead and hit next on the wizard. All right, right here is going to be your default allocation size. And it's by default, it should be set correctly. Mine's an 8 gigabyte uh, flash drive. And of course, I think I can only use 7.61. Go ahead and hit next. All right, right here, you can set the drive letter that you want. You can leave that as default. Right here, you can set it as FAT32 or NTFS. I'm gonna leave this at FAT32. Hit next. All right, right here, you can go ahead and go back over everything if you need to, but go ahead and hit finish. All right, now as you can see, the removable drive now is active boot, drive letter D, and it's FAT32. And now you should not have any issues opening up your drive and using it as normal. Well, everyone, that is it for this video. I hope that I didn't move through this too fast, but I will also place some basic text instructions in the description box as well. I really hope that this has helped everyone gain some knowledge and save some money in the process. If so, then please like this video and share it with your friends. Please subscribe because I will be making some more videos like this that should continue to help you out with your basic PC problems. Please leave a comment below with any questions that you may have for future videos. 
Have a good one, everyone.